My next guest is up against Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer for the state's top spot in November. Tudor Dixon is focusing on what she says are the top issues for Michigan voters, the economy and education. Joining me now, the Republican candidate for governor in Michigan herself, Tudor Dixon. Tudor, it seems obvious that these are the most important issues for voters, not just in Michigan, but everywhere. Um, what, what could you do about it to reduce inflation and to really help prosperity in the state? Well, in the state of Michigan, we have an energy issue because we have a governor who wants to shut down a pipeline. You've heard this story before, shutting down pipelines is the Democrats' favorite thing to do, and that would cause us to have increased gas prices, that would cause products to increase, that would also be a detriment to the entire Midwest. So first and foremost, we have to make sure this, this governor does not get another four years. She cannot do that. But we also need to make it less expensive to live in the state of Michigan. Our legislature has offered her twice now the opportunity to reduce the income tax in the state of Michigan and this governor has vetoed that. These are outrageous policies by this governor. We need to make it as affordable as possible to live here and we need to make sure you mentioned schools too. We need to make sure that parents are they have rights in education that they are in actively involved in their child's education and that's what I'm hearing out on the ground in the state of Michigan. Scott Shelley is here tutor Scott. Yeah. Tudor, I think uh, I think we went to the same high school. Um, I'm a Naperville Central grad myself, but I think I'm a lot older than you are. But just <laughs> throw that out there for the folks in Naperville. But uh, I, you know, and I also have a lot of family in, in Michigan. I, I have to say this: this is where Whitmer lost me. It's when, in the height of the pandemic, when fo the, those folks on the left were not keeping their, their heads about them, when she banned travel to your Michigan home, to your Michigan lake house, because of the spread of the virus. I could not believe that they were able to actually uh, seize your lake house from you and not let you go there, even though you pay taxes on it and you own it outright. Um, once that happened, she totally lost me, and I'll never, I, I'll never forgive her for that because it's absolutely, I, I would say, unconstitutional, but against everything that we've grown, been grown up to learn about you know, personal property rights. Where do you stand on that one? That was the, the, probably the, the most egregious thing I heard a governor, a governor do over that whole pandemic. That's what I think people outside of the state of Michigan don't understand. You couldn't go to your second home. You couldn't go out on the golf course. You weren't allowed to go to the grocery store and buy things that were not groceries. We actually had caution tape, police caution tape around seeds in the grocery store. She wouldn't let you garden. I have a friend who said her neighbor was elderly. A, a man came to mow her lawn and the neighbors around her called the police because you couldn't have somebody work on your property if they did not live there. That's how extreme this governor was and she went after restaurant owners that opened their shops she went after the barber who opened his shop anybody who went against her orders she sent the state police this was not only ridiculous rules this was a very vindictive governor but the rules were only made for the people of Michigan because she flew to Florida she wanted her husband wanted to get his boat out he has to be first in line after everybody after exactly what you said people couldn't go to their second homes mm -hmm. let's not forget how draconian these rules were but the after effects are even worse because she shut down restaurants for eight months longer than any other state when you talk about seizing someone's second home these were their actual well this was their livelihood she seized those properties essentially by saying you cannot make a living and then threw them a bone by saying you can open 25 percent of your restaurant you can't pay your property taxes if you can only open 25 percent after being closed down for months at a time this governor killed businesses she hurt our students and she had these outrageous outrageous policies that hurt people's spirits and and really caused mental health issues that we have, are just now seeing the extent of but Tudor that was in the past and the here and now you have how do you help those businesses but don't create more inflation or don't at least uh, foment more price increases. How do you do that? 
Well, we have to get more people to to this state. This is there's there's a whole plan to make sure that we get people to this state. So a part of that is our education system. We have a failing education system. It's been in decline for many years. We've got to get those school ratings up because we're 38th in the nation, headed toward the bottom five states. If we can make sure that we have choice in education and bring our ratings up, we'll get more people, and that will help our businesses. If we can make our cities safer, that will also help our businesses. So we mm -hmm. have to go back to rule of law. We have to support our police officers and get creative about bringing more police officers to the state of Michigan. And one way we can help our businesses get back on track is to reduce regulation and stop weaponizing the agencies of the state. Well, one thing a lot of people don't know about the state of Michigan is that this governor continues to weaponize her agencies and go after our businesses. So we still have people being cited, fined, shut down, and constantly mm -hmm. overregulated by the bureau bureaucratic state Gretchen Whitmer has created in the state of Michigan. That can be eased immediately once we get into office. We can make sure that we reduce those regulations and reduce this, this overwhelming bureaucracy that goes in and tries to attack our businesses. I know this doesn't count for much, but I love Detroit. I have a Lions t-shirt I wear all the time. People are like, oh, and they want to talk the team for me. I was like, no, I just like Detroit. I'm just trying to show my, show my support in New York. And it's a short flight. It's a very short flight from New York. I encourage people, you can go and gamble in the casino there in Detroit, and the folks are wonderful. Tudor, thank you so much for being here. Tudor Dixon, big fan in Michigan, for sure. Thank you so much. Coming up.